guys, this is Gina. Welcome back to my channel. Channel? Channel? I'm filming in our living room, giving this a new shot. The lighting upstairs is just, eh. It's just not working. We don't have shades up there. So I can't like really, we just have like sheer curtains. So I can't really control what's happening up there and as far as like lighting is concerned. So I thought maybe I would try down here and it's cooler down here anyways because it's been really hot here. So we are doing empties and this is kind of like my empties bag and um, I just want to get rid of this stuff so I was thinking what kind of video should I film today and I was like empties will be perfect. So the first thing sticking out of here is the Galette Venus in Olay. I have one more left and they look like this. So these are skin conditioners, one's yellow and one's white. Why I love these is because you do not, absolutely do not need to have any type of shave cream when you use this. It's amazing. They're a little bit expensive, but if you get this, I think, yeah, this is an eight pack. It also comes with the little stick -um, the little razor holder, and that's perfect for in the shower because you don't want these to get wet when you're not using them. So the little stick -um thing is perfect. Um, and then it also comes with the actual razor. And I think this is $30 at Costco, just like a four pack of just the cartridges. I think at the store is like $14. So I think this is a really good deal and it's the only place that I will buy them. This is just gonna be in total random order. I went through another bottle of Batiste. This is probably, I would say, like my 10th bottle of this stuff. This was the dark and deep brown. So what's gross about this is I like play with my hair a lot, as I'm sure we all do. And I scratch my head a lot and I have like longish nails and it would look like dirt was underneath my nails because it was just the residue from this and since it's dark brown, it looked like dirt. Super gross, did not like it. I will definitely stick with the clear. Another hair product, I just used the little last bit of this today. It's the Living Proof Style Lab Instant Texture Mist. I think I got this as like a 100 point perk or something from Sephora in one of my orders. And it says for multiple texturized styles, use on damp or dry hair. I find that it definitely does work better on damp hair. I sprayed the last of it on dry hair and it just feels like sticky. Like I have like hair that's like sticking together and like, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this. So I definitely will not repurchase that. Another hair care item, the T-Cell Therapy therapeutic shampoo from Neutrogena. This is a scalp buildup control um, shampoo and it's supposed to like detoxify your hair and help with dandruff which in the winter time I was having the hardest time with. So I definitely liked using this. I believe this was like seven or eight dollars. You can get at Walmart, Freddy's, um, probably Target, probably any drugstore really. And it says controls the symptoms of dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, psoriasis, and it's fragrance free. So I was using this every Sunday and it really helped my hair a lot. What do you know, another hair care item. I swear that it's so hard, especially for me, cause I don't wear a full face of makeup every day to go through makeup products. So I think a lot of times, a lot of our empties are full of hair stuff body stuff things like that because it just goes quicker this is the aussie seven in one dry shampoo i was trying to get away from the batiste because i was like i want to try something different i didn't really feel like it was working that well um so i wanted to try this and it's horrid it does absolutely nothing like the batiste feels like powdery on your scalp and i actually like that because it, i feel like it's building the body I can visibly see that it's like degreasing my scalp so this is just clear and it's wet and it I just don't like it like it's a full bottle just no I'm not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo instant results absorbs excess oils leaves no residue light matte finish again similar to the Aussie product this did absolutely nothing for my hair it was clear it was wet and I really really disliked it so there's like half a bottle left not even gonna bother. This is in Pinkberry Citrus. Loved it. 
I have like 10 more of these things on backup. Oh my god, this is like the dry shampoo episode, like for real. Another Batiste dry shampoo. This was fruity and cheeky and cherry. Really cute bottle. Again, I think I prefer just the regular plain version that's non-scented. This was okay. I mean, I used all of it, so I must have thought it was okay. Another Batiste dry shampoo. Sassy and daring. Wild. All used up. Product and it really dried out my skin. Like, I don't know why I keep going back to foaming products because they just do not work for me. It smelled good, but I would definitely not repurchase the full size. This is the All-in-One Acne Control Daily Scrub by Neutrogena. It says, fades a look up past acne marks, clears, um, clears present breakouts, helps prevent, I can't talk today, helps prevent future breakouts. Jeez Louise. And it has salicylic acid in it. Did absolutely nothing for me. I thought it would be more of like a textured scrub, which is really what I was looking for, but it just did not work out like whatsoever, which I know was kind of in like a couple of years ago. I probably won't repurchase the scent, so I won't be repurchasing the body lotion or the body wash. Now I'm thinking of doing a full review on this. It's the Mederma for Stretch Marks Cream. You're supposed to use this morning and night and I'm so mad because I've been using it for maybe about two, two and a half months and I have seen visible results. So I was planning on doing a full review on it with pictures and the whole bit so you can see um, actually that it's working but I totally forgot to take pictures like beforehand. So. So I think I probably will still do a review on this because this is pricey, it's $40. And if you suffer from stretch marks, I think this is a really good product. It would not be an empties video if I did not have at least, I think I only have one, I think I threw the rest away. Bath and Body Works foaming hand washes. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. And this is like so gross because it was in my shower forever. I think it took me a couple months, probably like more like four months to use all of this because it's a huge tub. I was really into cleansing balms after watching a couple of people's videos. I forget who they were, but they were talking about cleansing balms. And there's one that I really wanted to try, but it's European, so it's like really hard to get. And um, I was doing research and I found this one and I would not repurchase this. It, I'm pretty sure, broke me out pretty bad, so. Finally went through this. I mean, I have just a little tiny bit left that I'm sure I'll use within the next two days, but this is Marc Jacobs Daisy. This was like my go-to scent for forever, and I'm just over it because I've had, I think, this is my second or third bottle, so I probably won't repurchase for a really long time. Another bath product, this is Pink Chiffon Creamy Body Wash by Bath & Body Works. Love this scent, and I really like their body washes but I try not to buy them too often because of all like the ick that's in them. I went through another Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place. This is in, what is this in? 1C1 Shell. I'm still trying to figure out my coloring with this foundation. I do have another bottle that I'm almost finished with. This is my Holy Grail foundation. It is really the only thing that lasts on me pretty much all day which is a miracle. This is one of the MAC pumps, so I'm going to take this out and reuse it. I used, this was in the set with that whole Ole Henriksen face wash, and it's the Sheer Transformation Facial Moisturizer. Would not repurchase this. It was really sheer, and I have oily, dehydrated skin, so I need something a little bit more, what's the word, with substance in it. So I would not repurchase the full size. This is the Cora's Cleansing and Makeup Removing Wipes, Oily to Combination Skin in Pomegranate Grenade. I got, or I'm currently using up the Pomegranate Facial Cream. So I bought these together and I thought they would be a really good match. These I think were like $15. Yeah, you get 25 wipes. I really think that these are like a nice kind of, not luxury item, but 
just something to kind of treat yourself. I would not probably repurchase these because I know there's better out there and it didn't really do that great of a job of taking off my makeup, but they smelled really good. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil and Beloved in Jasmine. I use this on my feet almost every night. I kept it in my nightstand. It's a little too greasy for me to use like all over my body like in the morning when I get out of the shower, but this is amazing for your feet. Um, if you put this on and then put like warm socks over your feet and then sleep with them, which I never do because I can't sleep with socks on, but even for like an hour or two, it would be a super great treatment for your feet. So, um, I didn't love the smell, but I am interested in trying out her other whipped butters. This is the Mali Age Rebel Nourishing Concealer in Light. It's pretty much dried up. I used a huge amount of it and I loved this. It was really brightening, um, didn't tend to crease underneath my eyes and I really, really liked it, but I probably won't buy it because there are other concealers that I like much better. This is the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer. I liked this. I can't really remember too much about it. So, I mean, I, I don't know. If I can't really remember too much about it, that must mean that it wasn't amazing to me. So. Now this is amazing to me. The YSL Top Secrets, YSL Top Secrets Pro Removers. This was an eye makeup remover. Amazing. I believe it was one of the ones that was like the water on top and the oil on the bottom and then you shook it. One little dab on your eye, I swear to God, like removed all of your makeup. Like you didn't have to do any of this. You didn't have to do like really any effort. Like you didn't have to put any effort into it. So I probably would rebuy this, but because it is YSL, I'm sure a full bottle is expensive and it's more of like a treat to get it. So, so last few items. This is the Jimmy Choo um, <laughs> gel douche perfume. That's like, I don't understand that douche. Like, why Why would why would you put that on there? I don't understand. <laughs> um, it's the Perfume Shower Gel. This was really, really nice. If you sense maybe a small theme here, when I get perfumes, I like to get the sets. So I just think it's a better bang for your buck. So I do still have the body lotion, and I don't know. I might repurchase this, but again, it's more of like a luxury item. This is the Amber Blush. Just like little spray bottle. I love these mini spray bottles. I do have the full size of this and I love it in the fall and winter. This is the Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener Illuminator. This sucks. It does absolutely nothing. This is like a full product. Like I've barely used any of it and it comes with a brush like that. And it just absolutely did nothing. So I'm either going to toss it or I'm going to give it to my sister. This is a Sugar Rose Fresh Lip Balm, just a mini one. Went through all of that. I already have repurchased, I purchased a large regular one of this and then I have a small mini one still that I think I got as a point perk. And then I have a large one in like a berry color. So this is my favorite lip balm by far. Spendy, but so, so, so worth it. This is my last item and it's the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and this one comes with the powder underneath and the concealer on top. Now the powder I have not finished so I'm thinking about keeping it just for the powder but I've used all the concealer. It's been a while since I've used this so I can't really remember that much about it but I remember that it was not one of my favorite concealers so um, probably not going to happen in the future. So that is the end of my empties. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much. And I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers that have stuck around. I know I've been in and out, in and out, and I keep saying that I'm going to make regular videos and nothing's happening, but I did get a new camera that automatically focuses. This is the first time testing my camera, so this is the first time I'm really playing with it, seeing what the video quality really is like. Um, angles, where I'm going to continue to film. It's just, you know, a work in progress. So just stay tuned. Um, I do have a vlog that I'm working on that I did throughout the week and I'm really enjoying vlogging. My boyfriend, however, is not so much. He thinks it's really weird and he is kind of iffy about being on camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.